got a tag of $2,500 for Darth Vader that's, you know, smoke damaged. There's countless collectibles inside Shane Constantinescu's Langley shop. Water and smoke flooded into the store as fire crews battled a next door blaze on Saturday. By the time I got down here, it was fully engulfed and they had like six pumper trucks on it. And at that point, I thought we were losing everything. The fire tore through a building which housed a Mexican restaurant, a physiotherapy clinic and office spaces. Constantinescu is thankful his store is still standing, but he's now trying to figure out what can be salvaged. Everything we have is, um, you know, usually a one off or a custom prop or, um, you know, it's it's valuable. And so with the smoke and the water damage, you know, if the packaging gets damaged, it's almost worth more than the product. The concern I have with the Yeti is that um, the smoke's going to get into his fur and we're not going to be able to get it out and which deems him pretty much a useless product for anybody. As he tries to save what he can, crews have since demolished the building next door. The owners of the now destroyed Viva Mexico restaurant didn't respond to requests for an interview, but in social media posts said they're going through a very difficult time and vowed to come back stronger. The restaurant among a handful of popular Latin American businesses on this stretch of downtown. A lot of the businesses are started by newcomers and we've seen over time that where maybe traditionally people would have come to Burnaby or even Surrey, they're uh, moving to uh, Langley. But many of the buildings on this historic street are decades old and not up to current fire codes. The city says it's working to change that. Langley City, as I'm sure other communities, are very firm when there's renovations that take place. We do require sprinklers and other systems to be put in. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. John Hernandez, CBC News, Langley.